Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about breast cancer. Everyone, regardless of biological sex, possesses some breast tissue. Your pectoral is covered by your breast. It is mostly made up of fatty tissue with some connective tissue, which gives the breast its form. Breasts also have lymph nodes, which are tiny bean-shaped structures that aid in the transfer of immune cells and the removal of waste from tissue. Breast cancer develops when breast tissue cells proliferate and reproduce uncontrolled. It mostly affects women, although males can be affected as well. In females, breast cancer is the most frequent invasive malignancy. It is also the main cause of cancer mortality among women. This video will explain everything related to breast cancer, such as risk factors, how to diagnose and treat it. Our role today is to answer most of your questions regarding breast cancer. Today we have Dr. Peck, who is the leading doctor at Iwa Mokdong Hospital. He's going to discuss with us everything about breast cancer from an experienced medical point of view. Hi, I'm Umay. Before we start, please subscribe to our channel so the next time you'll be updated with our new releases. Good evening, Dr. Peck. Nice yes. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay. okay. So straight to our subject today. Yes. Doctor, what are the most common breast diseases? The type of breast diseases that appear in women differ between premenopausal and postmenopausal condition. Women in their early and mid-20s develop a lot of breast fibrodemia. This disease is a disease that causes smooth bruises like beads in the chest. Overall, the lump may cause pain because it is lumped together, which is called fibroplasia. For starting menstruation, the chest swells and hurts, and later the bruise disappears. These symptoms occur very often. For women who are close to menopause or reach menopause, a risk of cancer is increasing. In particular, Asians or Koreans have cancer in their late 40s to early 50s, just before menopause. However, most people in the United States tend to have cancer 10 to 15 years after menopause begins. Asians often have cancer just before menopause begins, or when menopause begins. So what are some of the benign breast uh, diseases? Benign breast disease can grow to some extent, and then no longer. If the lump is removed while the lump is growing, benign breast disease is cured. However, removing cancer cells does not cure all cancers ultimately, but radiation therapy, chemotherapy, targeted therapy, and gene therapy should be performed. Therefore, a benign breast disease refers to a disease that can be cured by removing cancer cells. Okay, so between these diseases, what are uh, some that turns into tumors? Cancer can also occur in normal breasts. The middle stage before cancer is the benign breast disease I mentioned. For example, fibrodemia and intraductal papilloma are benign breast diseases. These diseases are less likely to turn into malignant cancer but because they are abnormal cells, they are defined as intermediate stages of cancer disease. So what does it depend on? Cellular tissue properties are all different. Since cancer can also occur in normal breasts, there is a possibility that benign cells will turn into cancer. So, move on, moving on and talking about the breast cancer, what it is? Any cell tissue can turn into cancer except hair, nails, and toenail. It may be okay if you have a normal gene, but cell tissue can change over time, and cell tissue can develop into cancer if mutations occur. In other words, I would describe cancer as having similar properties to crabs. You don't know where it moves, and once it catches the prey, it doesn't let go of it. Once cancer occurs, it does not disappear easily, and we're not sure how well it metastasizes. However, the treatment results for breast cancer are very good among the treatment results for other cancers. Breast cancer can be treated in various ways, such as surgery, 
chemotherapy, radiation therapy, immunotherapy, gene therapy, and targeted therapy. 30 years ago, when a patient had breast cancer, one in four people had a survival rate of more than five years. But now the survival rate of more than five years is about nine out of 10. This means that breast cancer treatment technology has improved a lot. In particular, Korea is one of the countries which has the best breast cancer treatment technology in the world. So before talking about treatments, Let's talk about the methods for diagnosing. Uh... Breast cancer metastasizes especially well to the bones, lungs, and livers, and sometimes to the brain or ovaries. Therefore, before surgery, doctors must check whether cancer is present in organs other than the breast and determine treatment methods. So what are the treatments for breast cancer? Can you talk to us about it a little more in detail? The first is surgery. The second is radiation therapy. And the third is chemotherapy. And the immune modulator therapy. And there is a treatment called target therapy. And there is a factor called HER2. It is treated with a drug called Herceptin that treats HER2. These days, medical technology is very advanced, and there is also a treatment for cutting cancer cell genes with scissors. The treatment results are good only when these various treatment methods are treated with a combination of multimodular method. So, Dr. Peck, at what age women are most susceptible to breast cancer? As I mentioned earlier, in Korea, women in their late 40s to early 50s get breast cancer the most. In the West, it usually occurs most often around the age of 65. So, is there any predisposition to disease of the memory? The most important occurrence factor is whether there is a family history or not. In particular, it is important whether mothers or aunts have breast cancer factors. Angelina Jolie underwent surgery to remove all breasts even though she did not have breast cancer. This is because her mother and aunt have ovarian cancer. They had BRCA1 and BRCA2, the genes that cause breast cancer. Among the chromosomes in the female body, the chromosome in number 17 is BRCA1, and the chromosome in number 13 is BRCA2. If this gene is positive, there is a high probability of occurrence of breast cancer and ovarian cancer. Life after breast cancer, should you always look to your health in a different way or in a special sure, way? Sure, 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 absolutely. Of course, in general, people think that cancer will be cured with only chemotherapy and radiation therapy. But it's not. After this treatment process, it is important for patients to have the right lifestyle. You have to exercise regularly, especially what you eat is important. Avoid high-fat, high-calorie eating habits and eat fresh vegetables and dairy products. Exercise and food are important. It is also important to have an active hobby and a positive mindset. In the past, there were many patients who committed suicide or quit their jobs when they had cancer. But these days, this is not the case. In the past, breast cancer should have undergone surgery to remove all breasts unconditionally. In 1894, Dr. Johns Hopkins argued that if breast cancer occurs, the breast must be removed to survive. Later, however, there was a patient whose cancer spread to other organs even through the breast was removed. Since breast cancer is a systemic disease, you should take medications such as anti-cancer drugs even after surgery. Eating a lot of fresh fruit and vegetables while having good eating habits 
and a positive mindset are also important. Can a woman have healthy children after being treated from breast cancer? As I just said, there is no problem with childbirth in the West because people have breast cancer after the age of 65. However, breast cancer occurs even in people aged 30 to 40 in Korea. And unmarried women have a lot of breast cancer these days. Especially these days, they get married later and people often get breast cancer before getting married. In some cases, these women want to give birth afterwards. But breast cancer causes a lot of stress through chemotherapy, radiation therapy, and reduces ovarian functions in women. Therefore, ovum may be collected in advance. Or if you are a couple, sperm and ovum may be combined and frozen, and then later inserted into the uterus to give birth to a child. In other words, although not 100% possible, childbirth is possible. There are cases where twins are born, and there are quite a few other cases. Some patients thought of committing suicide after having breast cancer, but now they are married and have children to live well. In the past, people thought that if they had breast cancer, they would die. But patients with breast cancer currently have a 5-year survival rate of 92% and a 10-year survival rate of 84%. Therefore, there is a good chance of giving birth after breast cancer treatments. So, breast cancer recurrence, how often does it happen? There are many types of cancer. There are hereditary cancer, cancer subject to targeted treatment, or cancer that does not fall under both types. The recurrence rate varies depending on the type of cancer. When it reoccurs, it occurs a lot between two and a half years. But after three and a half years, there are many cases where there is no reoccurrence. The fact that the five-year survival rate is 92% and the 10-year survival rate is 84% is also the probability that the body will recover well without reoccurrence. Patients with a third type of cancer or cancer subject to targeted treatment among the aforementioned types of cancer were more likely to recur than those with hereditary cancer. However, now there are special drugs suitable for this, so all three types of cancer have a similar possibility of reoccurrence. In the past, people thought that if they had breast cancer, they would die, but it's not true. Uh, so when we say breast cancer, we only talk about women. Does it happen that a man also have breast cancer? Men also have breasts. However, the incidence of breast cancer in men is reported to be 1% in the West. This means that 1 in 100 breast cancer patients are men. In Korea, the incidence rate of breast cancer in male is 0.4%. It means 4 out of 1,000 people. When I worked at Korea Cancer Hospital, I reported 87 male breast cancer cases. In Iwa Women's University, I had 6 male breast cancer surgeries. The incidence of breast cancer in men is low, but in the same stage, the prognosis of breast cancer in men is worse than that of breast cancer in women. These days, some young men do not build chest muscles by exercising, but by administering female hormones. In this case, breast cancer is more likely than in ordinary men. So how do you prevent breast cancer? The biggest cause of all cancers is eating habits. In other words, 30% of all cancers are caused by poor eating habits especially high-fat, high-calorie eating habits. Eating a lot of greasy foods can lead to uterine cancer, breast cancer, and colon cancer. Women rarely smoke, but the second cause of cancer is tobacco. The third is a small amount of exercise. The less physical activity, the worse for the body. Family history is also an important factor, but postmenopausal women develop insomnia, cold sweat, and flushing. And in the past, women were prescribed female hormone drugs. This drug prevents menopause and osteoporosis, but increases the risk of breast cancer by 25%. Therefore, hormone drugs should not be taken just because menopause symptoms are severe. Patients ask their doctors a lot of ways to treat breast cancer and lower menopause symptoms. The female hormone in food is called phytoestrogen. Female hormone drugs taken at pharmacies are called chemical estrogen. It is a hormone that suppresses the incidence of phytoestrogen, breast cancer, and helps the body withstand it by causing menopause symptoms to progress slowly. 
Among the foods containing this hormone, soy-based foods are good. In the West, foods such as flax seeds and red clover and evening primrose oil are good. Pomegranate also contains phytoestrogen. It is a vegetable female hormone. This cannot quickly eliminate menopause symptoms, but it has a therapeutic effect on preventing breast cancer. Uh, yeah. So, what is so special about Breast Cancer Center here in Iwa Women's University? Uh, Iwa Women's University Medical Center is Korea's first women's cancer hospital. At Iwa Women's University Medical Center, doctors diagnose patients and immediately conduct biopsy and cell tests if cancer is present. And we do frozen section biopsies where we can see the results right away. This test is a test where you can see the results two to three hours after the test. When the cancer is diagnosed, bones, lungs, liver, etc., are examined and how many cancer cells are in the blood. Insurance will also be covered immediately from that day. Therefore, the hospital's characteristic is that surgery can be performed within a week after all tests. Since our hospital is a woman's cancer hospital, the treatment process is fast and convenient. The appearance of the hospital is not gray, so it does not look depressing. And there is a carpet on the floor, so treatment of patients is good. Iwa Women's University Hospital is world famous. When breast cancer first developed in 1986, surgery was performed to partially leave the breast without removing all of the breasts. This was a faster development and achievement than the United States. About 4,000 foreign patients come to our hospital a year. One person comes 10 times a year, 4,000 people visit. The most frequent visits are in the order of China, Russia, and Arab countries. 60 countries around the world visit our hospital. Our medicine is known worldwide and has established itself as one of the great industries. What I am always proud of is that Korea has performed breast-saving surgery for breast cancer patients for the first time. I was invited to six to seven hospitals around the world to conduct surgery and lectures. I've also been selected as one of the top 100 doctors in the past. Okay, thank you, Dr. Peck, for your uh, time thank today. you. Thank okay. you so much. Today, we learned many things about breast cancer. And the doctor explained in detail everything related to breast cancer, including its symptoms, diagnosis, and complications. Thank you for joining us once again today at Cloud Hospital TV. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and we will respond to you as soon as possible.